Hey guys, and welcome back to Oxygen Not Included, Clay's Amazing Space Colony Simulator Extraordinaire. My name is Twitchy, and we are playing the Spaced Out DLC. We're in a rock full of brains, and that's right, we have got a rock full of scientists here, all currently partaking in the synchronized snoring competition. I think these guys are training hard, training well. They may have a the chance this year of winning the Universe Challenge Challenge ships. But there is something that I want to talk about today, and to do that, I am going to speed up the game somewhat. Curie is our mover and shaker of the of the base. She goes out, she makes sure that the tunnels get dug, dug, the ladders get built, and people can get to where they are going. Everybody else kind of has a set and specific job, such as Rutherford is my farmer, Pla Plank over here is both uh, responsible for research and tidying, and Boar does the farm. I can't remember what I got bored specifically. No, Bore was the tidying, Plank is just the researching. <laughs> but Madame Curie has been taken up mostly by Operation uh, Errands, that's the word I'm looking for. As you can look down her list of jobs, she does have some build and deconstructs in there, but she has much bigger problems with the generate, the power, life support, well life support's an everybody job, uh, fabrications and more power. So I feel like it's time that we take on another duplicate. We're starting to get our food stocks down. The uh, lack of temperature at the top here is a little bit worrying, but that extra duplicate will in fact come along to help by making sure there is power down here all the time but we are waiting for this to fill up and we've got we've only got 50 seconds to wait i don't know what that noise was what was that noise i don't know we got lime is it the new lime i think it might have been the new lime coming in we are uh, turning eggshells into lime over there and we're also turning copper into uh, copper ore into copper so we can make some more advanced materials okay into the printing pub we're going to choose the blueprint what have you got for me no, these are not what I want. There's a trick that we can use, though. I'm going to come out of here. I'm going to save the game, and uh, I will log out and log back in. Oxygen Not Included is not a fast game to load, so this is not a, uh, a decision I make, make lightly. But not only is it not a fa fast game to load, also when you're recording it takes even longer. All right, let's have a look in here. As you can see, it's an entire new set of duplicates. But it's still not the people I want. So I'm, I'm literally, I don't even need to save this time. We're just going out and coming back. I'm not sure if I'm overly happy with this technique, but I'm going to be using it anyway. Uh, we've got an operator there. We've got a supply operator. Mmm, that might be useful as well. Irritable brown, biohazard. I'm not sure about those. Gourmet small bladder. I'm going to go with you. Rosalind Franklin, uh, very well known for x-ray stuff, taking images, uh, got, got robbed of the DNA Nobel Prize, stuff like that. So, to make her a functioning part of the base, let's just follow her around, see what she's doing. So at the moment she wants to cook and stuff like this. This is not what we got you here for though. Uh, coming down to the priorities, life support, let's get that supplying on the way, that's good. Uh, but more importantly, there we go, operating. I was, <laughs> I'd lost the uh, the priority there. Okay, so we're just going to turn that up. As you can see, fabric crusher, generate power, definitely at top of the list there now. Hopefully she'll go around and do that. We do have some skills to spend for her, and what are we going to do? <laughs> Maybe the improved carrying. The Improved tinkery. Yes, I think that might be the one. Oh, she's going to be making her way to mechatronics engineer. Yes. Hat, hat. I, I, I didn't forget the hat, honestly. <laughs> <laughs> Always forget the hat. Need to need to try and sort that out at some point. She goes get to the. Uh, I'm not sure why they go to the arch anymore. Is she grabbing skills? Is she learning skill? Printing pod. Okay, but she has the skill even if she doesn't go and do that. If, if she's like separated from the arch, I, I don't know. It, it's great though. Okay, the generation of power in this slightly dodgy back alleyway is underway. That should mean that everything is going to balance out for us now. Probably going to sit and wait for a little bit, but what I want what I want Madame Curie to be doing, the whole reason that we freed her up is I uh, want to get up here, I want to come over this side, I want to go over this way, I want to make sure that we've got full access to all the magma at the top here. I am really giving some thought to siphoning just a little bit off, just a little bit off with the help of some doors to start melting all this stuff down here pretty quickly. And it would give us so much igneous rock. But I'd also like to get a second ranch on the way. And indeed, now that we've been able to take uh, the operation off of her top priorities, maybe we need to pump builds up a little bit more as well. I kind of wish there was slightly uh, more fine control over this big priorities box here, because I really would like uh, Madame Curie to be operating if she can't build or dig, but I want digging to take priority over building. Uh, there's just not quite enough fine control there. Oh, another thing I should probably do is expand expand the bedroom. That, that might help a lot. 
Oh, she's gonna end up sleeping in the toilets, isn't she? Ah, oh, it's the worst place for you guys to sleep, but uh, that's that's probably what's gonna happen. Let, let's let's watch her run around and right next to the compost pile, of course. At least she chose the out of order toilet. Is that better? I don't know. I mean, with her stamina already full, I wonder whether I could just give her a little move and and she's done because she's not tired, right? She's she's like done with the sleeps. Yeah, off she goes. It's just she says she's tired. Hmm. Where where's the tireds? I was fairly sure it was stamina. Yeah, look, okay. Well, all right, good night. I guess when the schedule says, the schedule says. All right, fair, whatever. Okay, that's the space cleared out for another hatch ranch. We're going to move some of these guys in there just to keep the uh, production ticking over. Uh, but as well as clearing this area out, I would like to clear over towards the teleporter, as I've been saying. But something else, something else. Let's cut. Ooh, can I just click onto one of my dupes? Uh, I've been threatening for a little while now to uh, replace the toilets. And to do that, we need... Oh, let's scroll up a little bit more. This water sieve. So I'm going to go and do that. This will lead to another little bit of an adventure because to clean water properly of germs, we need some chlorine and there's um oh look there's a little bit of chlorine but actually there should be no chlorine on this why is there chlorine there but there's no chlorine on this map is what i'm trying to say <laughs> where where did that one little splodge come from the great sideways dig has begun okay let's put down some actual granite ladders around here so she doesn't take forever to do it and also look at this us here i think maybe we can go and start digging this guy out uh, i'm not intending to fully uncover it but who knows what we've got there it's not a tall one so maybe we're okay digging those out as well ma'am curie of course has the dig as the highest priority so she's gonna try and do those first nice nope not before the end of the day got called okay fair enough <laughs> Oh, there we go. What have we got? A carbon dioxide vent. Uh, okay, I mean, yeah, it's all right, I suppose. That's 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 nice. It's um, not something that we're going to make use of until we get some slicks or a carbon dioxide rocket, but it's good to have, right? Okay, so I have just learned something about these uh, supply teleporters. If you ask for an activation, someone with the skills of researching needs to come along to do it. I'm not sure exactly which skill it is, but someone needs to come along to do it that is uh, trained in the art of research. Uh, so... Hmm. The reason I was saying is at some point we're going to have to clean our water. And to clean water, we need to get hold of a certain consumable ore, uh, bleach stone. Actually, what we need is chlorine. But the bleach stone is the nice and easy way of teleporting it around using the wonders of these teleport pads here. This one, unfortunately, sends items from this asteroid over to the secondary one. We want the one that goes the other way. I don't see it, which means we're probably, probably going to have to send Miss Curie out to have a good exploration, dig around, find out where all the different world, uh, all the different rooms are. It's, it's kind of got to be over here somewhere, right? The, like maybe it got overwritten by the, the water geyser. Is that a thing? I don't know. But the point is, we're going to have to send Curie over and then afterwards send Plank over. But there's a recharge time on these, so I don't know how long that's going to take. Mm, do we send Madame Curie over now? I mean, she is kind of busy doing other things. Building ladders on the very, very edge of the world. I mean, that's a very important thing to be doing. <laughs> Along with that bleach stone, we're also going to need a way to selectively start pulling liquids out. To begin with, I need all of this lot here. Is it only just this? Is this the only thing I need? I'm going to go for the liquid reservoir first. And then somewhere in the medication, there's also a way of searching for germs. So I'm going to have to do this line of uh, research next. Ah, uh, they're nearly in sync tonight. Nearly, nearly. But with Madame Curie having finished off this uh, this critter pod here, I think I'm going to go ahead and send her over. Let's let's do it. Assigned. There's not any holes left anywhere. Okay, teleport her across. I'm going to slow down the game just a little bit so that we know, can see what's going on. She's going to teleport into here, and I think the first thing I'm going to do is just start digging. Oh, here she comes. Beautiful. She's just start digging this way. Am I going to do a three-high tunnel? I mean, why not? Let's, let's not st let the standards drop just because we're in a different environment. Chlorine gas vent. I mean, that that is something we need. It's true, but it's not it's not that great right now. If I'm to be honest, <laughs> having uncovered this much of the map, gotta wonder whether it's up in this corner over here. Uh, it, it seems to be the only spot where there could be. Of course, there could be anywhere in this dark sort of crescent over the top. I'm not sure how much more room we've got over to this side of the map. It looks like this. <gasps> it's slicks. 
Oh, yes. Oh, mate. We, we could totally have a Slickster farm again. <laughs> I like Slicksters. Oh, and we dug up some iron. Some real iron. Look, look real iron everywhere. Great. Secondary objective whilst I'm here. Get Miss Curie into the Neural Vacalizer. I don't think she's going to get up there in time, or at least not by the end of this uh, uh, cycle, but it should be fine. I've just realised we've got no bed. Probably going to have to put down a bed here. She can sleep with this frozen friend, whoever this frozen friend is. Yes. Maybe at some point we'll open them. Maybe. Probably not, though. Oil well as well. Beautiful. Okay, the research for the liquid shutoff and the reservoir is down. Now I want the germ sensor. Beautiful. Panic at Pyxlene. We have not got toilets up. I have only just realised and it is just about to cross to morning. No, whatever you're going to go do, Madam Curie, just just please come and get these toilets sorted immediately. I actually don't think she's going to be able to do it in time. We, we have had uh, a whole day of uh, Miss Curie being here on her own. Uh, yeah, problems are going to be abound. Let's get this one done. Yeah, she says she's got some problems already. As soon as the... Ah, oh, there we go. That, that was the problem. Well, I guess we'll turn this back to nines. Turn everything else down just a little bit and uh, let, let her get on with that. And for my forgetfulness, we have got two little bottles of polluted water, millions of germs. Well, no, not yet. Tens of thousands of germs, but you, you know it's going to become millions. Let's have a look. There is maybe maybe amongst them we've got a hundred thousand germs here. Back on reversal in, I think we're going to go ahead and start preparing for the incoming water. I'm going to put down a water sieve here. This will take... <laughs> because we sent Madame Curie around, it's like, oh no, we can't dig that. But that water sieve will take the polluted water, turn it into a regular water. But as you can see, the regular water will probably still have some germs on it. So we want to deal with stuff in the next room. I'm going to have, ooh, let's say a very tall room. Something like this. So, two liquid reservoirs, a liquid shut-off valve that lets us turn on or off another, well, a, a valve. Uh, and we must still be waiting for, yes, our germ sensor here. The uh, germ pipe, uh, the gas, no, not gas pipe, liquid pipe germ sensor will be able to tell us how many germs are inside the pipe that we're going to run around. Oh, that wasn't, that wasn't it, don't worry. Uh, and then when uh, it tells me that there are no germs, we'll turn the liquid shut off on and pump the water out of here. The majority of the water is just going to be in a, in a closed system that goes round and round, but when it overfills, that's when we'll take it out. We'll probably have a, a, an hand gate here checking for the germs and checking for the amount of water in one of these tanks. The apothecary, that, that's what we got that time, okay. This Pip seems to have got himself stuck into a small little loop here. Down he goes, tries to grab the blossom seed, can't grab it because he's drowning, jumps back out. It's a, a bit of a shame and I don't know if I can intervene. Maybe we can try and get it picked up, but that's gonna be hard. Well, we've got a toilet up, but uh, unfortunately this is gonna mean there's gonna be a bunch of germs going around without a wash basin to, oh, uh, look at it, uh, uh, uh. I guess that's fine, we can deal with it, but we, we really need to get the rest of this setup done. Mm, she's standing in the water covered in food poisoning but i don't see any transferring to the water okay i think i think we're okay we, we, we can live with that we can live with that okay miss curie is making her way into the neural vacuolator Th this is great this is great she's gonna take a little while to chill out there Look, looks very chill right very very chill i i couldn't see any way that this is anything other than ultimately re relaxing okay let's complete the process before she suffocates and what have we got uh we've got the regenerative trait she gets uh, 20 percent health per cycle back that is pretty cool actually curie being forced to work in an odd mixture of carbon dioxide chlorine polluted oxygen hydrogen uh she's not having a great time at the moment actually the stress is climbing but hopefully we're going to get this done before that becomes an issue and i've set up a whole pathway going sideways here maybe we can see Ooh, what's this this might be what i'm looking for Yes, indeed, that is it. The supply teleporter input. Oh, man, this, this this is it. This is what I'm here for. We're just going to dig up and through here. We'll deal with the gases later, I guess. Oh, and there's even a single tile of bleach stone here to send back with us. Okay, it's literally just the single tile. We'll probably go off and try and find some more of these bits around. We've even got 
a little tunnel coming over to these, so maybe that'll be a, a better way of doing this. But I think as soon as we finish this dig down and made access way, perhaps opened this up to let all the chlorine drop down. Oh, let's bring the gases back. That's what I was looking at when I was doing it. I'm trying to go. I'm going to try to drop all this chlorine down underneath here, so when people want to use the uh, the teleporter, that should be fine. Another thing I want to set up for the teleporter: put down a generator, grab a battery, some wire, ba 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 ba, something like that should be great. Okay, that's everything down here pretty much dealt with, but I have one more high priority job that I need Miss Curie here to go and do. Somewhere over near the very top of the map, I was showing the bleach stone that we had pretty close access to. Wasn't quite close enough, but I don't want to expose it entirely. So as we come over and see the job that is going to be done here, there is the bleach stone. I'm going to dig out these diagonals from it, so when the plank comes across, he can just dig out the final blocks without any, uh, any hassle. Oh wait, is this granite? He might he might have some hassle digging out granite, but he can come in through the igneous rock, I suppose. Let's 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 get it for that instead. Okay, night time got called. There was a couple of digs not not uh, ordered there, but that's that's fine. Gonna let Madame Curie go for the toilet, and then we're just gonna send her home. I don't I don't really even care whether she sleeps here or back at the original base. I just I need her to leave. What's she gonna do? She's gonna sleep here. Well, that's fair enough. Oh, day daytime came through already. I was on quite the high playthrough. Okay, we're, we're, we're sending Plank. The reason that we're going to send Plank is if I come and uh, select this teleporter that we've not got access to yet, so I've not been able to use it. If I go the activation, uh, Boar is the only one that says uh, unreachable. Everybody else. Oh, no. Wow. All right, fine. Well, when I was over here and I asked for the activation to happen... Plank. Oh, it, it's still uh, it's still there. Okay, uh, look, you can see. Uh, require skill, require skill. Plank is the only one who can do it. He's not done it yet. Well, when he goes over to the other world, that's pretty much going to be the only thing he can do. All right, let, let's send him over. This is this is very important. Oh, is um, Curie going to cut? Wait, 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 wait. Stop. You teleport. Go. And then we'll look over here and watch this happen as well. Curie should end up landing well and... There we go. Teleport you away. Where, where's Curie? She's there. There we go. She should have landed, and away goes Plank. Beautiful. What, what a, what a graceful swapping over of the. Ooh, that, that looked painful. Uh, swapping over of the jobs. Yes. Very interested to see what he considers important. Turns out building this ladder is considered important. I mean, fair enough. Can, can you dig? Oh no, I don't want to dig that. What, what was that? Entombed. How did that happen? Suddenly, there is this. Okay, let, let's get that. that. That's that's fine. That's not the end of the world. Just just a little bit surprising. Wasn't ready for it. Oh, they're all just construction supply. The, the actual builds are down below. Okay, I see what he's doing. Uh, that That's fine, I suppose? Good to see the Curie has pretty much got straight to work with the water system. That's, that's really good because we are mm, starting to run a little low. Okay, he's already activated the one down below this morning. Plank's come along to wiggle that sexy butt at me. Uh, and I think this is all working well. The problem we've got, and I didn't realise it was going to be a problem immediately, uh, we, we need to turn the ones on the other side on as well. I kind of thought this one had been done. Okay, no, no all right. Well, that that's, that's fine. I suppose we'll just set everything up ready to roll, like this here, to bleach stone. Where is it? Consumable ore. We haven't dug any up yet. Lol. Hmm, bleach stone also requires hard digging. Well, Plank, your work here is done. How long have you got to wait? A third of the time you've already been going. All right, good good luck. I can tell you what, why don't you tidy up? You like tidying up. Off you go. Okay, as soon as we can swap them back, Madame Curie will be taking Plank's place and Plank will be taking Madame Curie's. 3.2 cycles. 3.2 cycles. Okay. We have travelled three cycles into the future and most of the piping has been put down for the water cleaning network here, but more importantly, the teleporter is ready to send Plank back. Not only are we going to be sending Plank back, we're also going to be sending Madame Curie. There's going to be another swapping of their positions. Uh, where is she here? Bam. Okay, go. Just in time to watch Max walk into the teleporter. Let's teleport him across. We should be able to transition with the camera here, hopefully. Uh, it always takes just a little bit longer than 
I think it should, but there we go. We have jumped over just in time to watch this one jump inside, and away we go again. Another round of teleportation. We are all about it. I should be doing this like relatively often, right? There's, there's ways of uh, taking advantage, exploiting this particular mechanic. But Miss Curie, if you could come up here and make your way over to this crude oil, uh, you might be thinking, oh, why would you let this out? It's going to like carry on spilling oil until it all flows down and you've got to have a bad time. No, that's not the way oil reservoirs work. You need to put a certain piece of equipment over the top of them. If I have a look in the research here, it's this one, the oil well, before it will even begin uh, pumping out. And hopefully with Max Planck back over here and on the job of the research, we should be able to unlock all of this tech fairly quickly. I'm after this one in particular. I hope we get that before the engine up here. Ah, she dug the bleach stone out. It's being dropped. Okay, let's uh, turn this up to high priorities. Where, where did she go? I, I need I need to get her back onto this job. Okay, you come on up here for now. And then also down here, now that we've got it opened, I should be able to come into the cult of, uh, consumable ore. The leech stone, beautiful. I got, I got to send that over. We got to put it into a high pressure environment. Ideally, drop it into a little bit of water. I wonder if, I wonder if we could drop some ice in here and get away with that. Let's, let's find some ice in the list. And there is the ice. I'm just gonna get everybody on it for a sec. Let's see if we can't drop that in there. Okay, here it goes. Picked up some ice. 360 grams is a fair amount. Can we get another small delivery? Okay, there was some ice as well. All right, let's turn that back down. Hopefully, this should very quickly... Oh, where is it? It's somewhere in here. Ice. There we go. We've got some ice. We've got a uh, 1,000 kilo. Oh, man. Is that going to be too much? That, that could be too much. Let's have a look in here. No, that's about one tile's worth. Okay, I'll take that. I'll take that. It's not heating up much, though. Turns out everything else is quite good. Oh, there's some warm dirt in there. Mm, I wonder how we make that change faster okay coal power is away that's great as soon as we get a good way of dealing with uh, carbon dioxide you need something like 20 of these algae terrarium to be able to deal with a coal burner also there's why has this guy not got fertilization is, is that something that needs this problem well whilst i was looking around someone else got to it okay fair enough well okay even if the ice can't melt we need to move the is, is it is it there yet is it there yet bleach stone it says zero we've knocked it out there's the bleach stone Let, let's see if we can get you on that okay the circumnavigation is real she was working on the way to get up and down there but i'm, I'm worried about the out venting no no okay ah allow manual i do this every time allow manual use there we go <laughs> And as it has been shipped through, we've got some bleach stone there. I'm going to be uh, be asking people to sweep that and then come down to this new automatic dispenser that I've got. Sweep only, consumable bleach stone, go! Rutherford having the time of his life running around. Look at these uh, sparkle streaks. They are amazing. Yeah, def definitely having a good time here. Uh, I'm not sure how I managed to get the, the morale up so high, but I'm, I'm going to accept it. That's great. 21 out of 3. Yes. Now we should, yes, ever so slowly be filling up with chlorine in here. We're going to try and have enough to fill up to the top of the liquid reservoir if possible. There'll be, there'll be some, uh, some carbon dioxide issues, but we'll, we'll work on that. And whilst we watch Madame Curie run around and grab all the bleach stone that is available on this map, I would like to take this moment right here to thank every single one of my patrons. Scrolling up the screen right now, you will see a list of names that have taken the time out of their day to come along and support me in what I am doing here. These are the guys that make it possible for me to take ooh, somewhere between four and six hours out of my week every week to sit down and make these. So as I say, I'd like to take this moment right here to thank all of them together. Thank you so much, people. It is exactly that's this type of support that makes it worth doing what I'm doing. Okay, a piece of research has just dropped in. That's not what I wanted to see. Uh, if we come back over to Paraxi or Paraxlin, I, I don't know. Don't make suggestions on how it's supposed to be pronounced in the comment. We come to the refinery. We've got an oil refinery. I'm definitely just going to drop that there like so. Beautiful. Uh, we'll want to have some sort of power system in between, perhaps even with a battery. Uh, and then uh, out here, we will have the petroleum generator, which, um, if I remember correctly, drops water so we might just do something like this fill this in like here and then dig out under on the underside we have started to run into a bit of a problem the fact that we have run out of algae is a big issue is there even any to be picked up anywhere i am not sure uh what is it mineral 
Organic. Of, co of, of course it's organic. Right, what have we got here? We've got some algae, we've got some algae. There are bits of dirt on the floor, but that's not quite as handy as having actual algae. Okay, uh, yeah, th these, these are limited resources. I think that was it. The polymer press and the oil well. Ooh, been waiting for those. Nearly, nearly cycle 100. Uh, if we stop looking in the wrong place and come down to the refinement, we can get the polymer press out, pop it there, hook it up to the electricity. Uh, I also started getting a bit of a reservoir on the go because you never know, we might end up overloading the system. Colony achievement earned. I jeez, I wonder which one we got on the morning of cycle 100. Let's let it roll down. Turn of the century. Reach cycle 100 with at least one living duplicate. We've got at least one. Yeah, that's that's cool. There's there's one here, but there's a whole load more over this way. Again, we've got some oil production. Uh, no, I'll try again. We've got some petroleum production underway. It's gonna go into no gas output. Oh, I forgot we needed a gas output. This should be relatively easy. It only puts out carbon dioxide, and we've got some slicks down there. I think what I'd like to do is drop it down and in, but that might be a bigger task. Okay, this is what I'd like to do. Let's see if we can get it done. Another new achievement just rolled in. Which one was this? Man, nailing them at the moment. Enter a biome, uh, enter an oil biome for the first time. All right, cool. Yeah, did it. Uh, look, 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 here she is, doing the thing. Okay, last pipe has just gone into place. That means we've got carbon dioxide coming out of here. Should be dropping down and being eaten by this guy who literally can't go anywhere other than sit here and eat this. Produces a whole bunch of oil down there slowly over time. I'm sure at some point we'll move that pump down yonder. Ah, oh, there we go. How much are we going to be making this time? I don't know. It's not going to be a, a huge amount. Let's have a look. It's 30 kilograms. How much do we need? Why did it spit out right there? Of all places, why right there? Okay, downtime has been called, so I have to use the alarm. Let's go ahead and put another mesh tile in just here. Hopefully this will save us enough space now and uh, allow the water to drop down here. We can hope, right? Okay, the polymer press is getting a little bit over hot, but you know what? I don't think I care. We'll run this one into the ground until we get ourselves some steel or gold amalgam. Have we got any gold amalgam around here? No, we do not have gold amalgam around here. We do have diamond, though. Mmm, nice. But with the lack of high temperature materials at the moment, we're just we're just going to run this one until it breaks. Okay, power's gone down. Night time has been cooled, but I really want to get the plastics into here. So uh, let let's get Curie on this like immediately. She didn't quite get them all, but she got a lot of ah and and dropped them and went that's it fine. <laughs> okay, fair enough. Okay, ten, last 10 kilos of plastic being delivered. And at this point, I'm going to come up here and say, Miss Curie, could you please go home? We, uh, we, we're done with this area. We did, we did the temporary thing we needed to do. We've even gone around and tidied up a whole load of stuff. Uh, that, that should be fine now. You, you, you're good. You did a good job. Well done. Well done. All right. Uh, oh, wait. We've got we to gotta hit the button. Uh, I always forget that we... Like, it doesn't, doesn't matter that we told them to go. We need to tell them to go again. <laughs> But this should allow us then to come down to the plumbing liquid pipe germ sensor. Yes, indeed. Pop her on there. Beautiful. Beautiful. Automation wire. Bam, bam. Okay, great. Let's let's just wait and see how long it takes for this to get done. Okay, so we've got this liquid germ sensor in place. If below zero germs, it turns this liquid shutoff valve on, which then shunts all of the clean water, very clean water, down here into the bottom. Uh, just to remind you, we're taking mixed dirty water from here, picking it up, dragging it through this water sieve, which will turn the polluted water into regular water. We then have to deal with the germs. They all get dealt with here, thanks to the power of the chlorine that we've been filling this place with this looks very good uh if uh when the water comes into here it will just follow around the loop it comes in goes in out in out and, and then loops on round hopefully not filling this up too much i don't know how this little uh split system here is going to work we'll uh we'll have to figure that out as we are working i've got a feeling i want to take a priority of one over the other probably this returning has the priority in fact i'm going to do that now okay so if we cut this pipe here uh the water comes out 
goes over, the return water gets priority and then it gets topped up by any water that comes from here back into the tank for more cleaning. But one thing that I want to happen before we get there, let's deconstruct this, before we even get into the cleaning system, because it does not matter whether the water going into the toilets is clean or dirty. So the first thing I'm going to do is remove a small section of water here and this will go down into this line of water underneath. Is there a better way of doing it? No, we'll just use it for now, uh, which will then feed up into these guys that I've, I've now asked to be removed so we can put the proper toilet. Wait, wait, wait. Plumbing, uh, outhouse, lavatory. There we go. I want one of those. Okay, as expected, the first thing that happens is that the destruction happens. Beautiful. I do like the deconstruct happens before anything else. Uh, I'm going to come into the medicine and get the sink. That goes there. Okay, beautiful. And we're going to come into the plumbing and get the lavatory. That goes there. Beautiful. Okay, where does the clean water need to go? I think we might actually take it back this other way. Okay, I think we got it. We're going to bring the water immediately off and around this way so that it can be fed straight into the toilet without exposing too many pipes because it turns out the duplicants, they don't like exposed pipes. Makes them sad. Okay, now all we need to do is put some water into the system. Are we going to pump it all the way up from here first? I think we might very well do. Okay, definitely quicker and easier ways than that, but I'm going to go with it. I'd also like to uh, extend this ladder all the way down here. Okay, now we're just beholden to this generator being used. It's a little way off, so let's uh, let's make sure someone uses it quick, shall we? I want to I want to watch this happen before we wrap up for the day here. Got the power coming out. This uh, liquid pump is working. Let's have a look. Away the water goes. Uh, it could be germy water. It could be clean water. I do not know about this corner side here. It, it's very germy. Oh my oh my gosh, it's very very germy. But that's fine because this uh, this water will come get pumped through here uh oh yeah it's going straight to the toilets of course it's going straight to the toilets i was like why is this backtracking but yeah i totally understand why the toilet and the sink have now been filled yeah look at that beautiful why are we still on yellow alert uh, manual generators turning over okay that's that's fine you got you guys keep out no i should just turn it to a nine and leave it but eventually the water makes its way into the what why why mm, why okay let's put some directionality right here i think that's the problem if i break this pipe and then ask for this liquid pipe to get done very very um high priority let's let's see if that turns over a little bit better at the moment we're just filling up the system i suppose that's fine we can we can let it back up a little bit and there we go it's now both filling up the system much much better uh in here we do not see any water yet that's that's a shame that's because it's all over here and it is being purged of its germs right now the liquid um liquid germ detector here is seeing that there are germs on it it's always a significant fraction less than what's coming out so we got like a thousand germs there 40 40 germs coming out of there but after a little while as long as everything stays fully charged we should get down to zero ambient um, germs that is because of course of all this chlorine in here um, extra chlor chlorine coming through is not the best Okay, zero, and then it turns on. That's then going to pump its way down here and splash. I really shouldn't have put this here because that could choke, yeah, the the carbon dioxide supply. Let's uh, let's remove that and then, then call it a good one. Hmm, in the same way that I've given priority to the return loop by making sure it is the, uh, the solid flowing pipe that gets bridged onto, I think I want to do the same here where the polluted water gets priority let, let's let's try that like like this oh it's all going to disappear for a little bit hmm this is no good the moment the water gets uh, entirely filled with the pipe hmm, maybe i do need to just ratchet it in okay i've cut the pipe here and let it run like that okay this, this will have to do for now I, th I think this will be pretty good for making sure Hmm, there's, there's, there's a future problem here. I can tell that there is a future problem here. At some point, we're going to be feeding in when we're totally full and the whole thing's going to uh, to seize up. You know what? That sure sounds like another day's problem. If we cut off the supply of the fresh polluted water, you can see that the germs do indeed fall, fall down low enough that at some point we start making fresh, clean, wonderful, potable, drinkable, and usable water. Okay, it's coming down out of here now. Uh, this is great. We're going to end up with a whole 
a bunch of fresh water in here so much so that actually the water available to us is going up does it show us it here no it doesn't i've got we've got to look on the tooltip and you can see the numbers are climbing steadily i'm gonna reconnect these right now with that i'm gonna say thank you very much for joining me for this adventure ladies and gentlemen i will see you guys next time when we're going to make a small serious oxygen supply uh we are just about to run out completely of algae and we need to hit uh, hit that growing crisis on the head as soon as possible but i will see you then when we're gonna do that bye